Hello, my name is Justin Trapp and I'm the Ceramic Studio Manager at IS183 as well as a faculty artist. And today we're going to go over how to make paper airplanes. It's something that you can do at home while you're with the kids. It's very simple, uh, easy activity that you can do. And there's going to be just very few materials that you need. You can get some scissors, a pencil, a spoon, ruler, cutting board, and some paper. I'm using this Astro Bright paper. It's a cardstock. It's 70 pounds. That means it's going to be a lot stiffer than most just regular um, ruled paper. You can definitely use regular ruled paper and it will work just fine. Um, but I like this stuff and it's also dual toned. So it's going to have a lighter side and a darker side, which I really enjoy. All right. So Go gather your materials and come back and we're going to make some paper airplanes. All right, welcome back. So the first thing that you're going to need um, is your paper. I have cut mine down to be square. This came in a eight and a half by 11 pack. Most sheets of paper come in eight and a half by 11. So you're going to need to cut those down. Just make sure that when you measure all sides equal eight and a half. So it's going to be a square. Okay. Once you do that, we're going to need to take our ruler and we're going to need to measure on two sides. If this is your center, this is going to be the left side, this is going to be the right side. You need to measure three inches down and make a mark. And then from three, count one, two, three more. And on the sixth, make another mark. And do that on both sides, okay? Once you do that, we're going to connect those two points. Actually, let me just double check my measurement. Yeah, I thought that looked off. So yeah, you may need to actually double check your measurements as well. All right, so now we're good. And I'm gonna connect those two points with my pencil, straight across just like that for the first one. Line up the second two points. And draw my line. All right, now I'm done with my pencil and my ruler. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold over these two points. So you need to fold the first point or the tip to the second line that you made. You need to make sure that we're straight. You may need to curl over the paper just a little bit. Really want to make sure that we're fairly accurate while doing this part of it. I'm going to crease it. I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to flatten out that fold and crease it really, really well so that when I open it back up, you get a nice crease. All right. And now I'm going to do that one more time where I made that second three inch measurement. Fold that over. Make sure that's straight. Take my spoon again and flatten that out so it's a nice sharp crease. Okay, so at this point, you should have what looks like a diamond with this fold like so straight across. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this tip to this tip, bring them together. And we want to make sure that we line those up fairly well. And once those come together, we have now just created the tip of our paper airplane or the nose. We're going to crease that section pretty hard. Now we need to make our way down to the tail and make sure that that's creased and evenly evenly crease and this might require just a little bit of finagling and once you got that you can go back with your spoon and sharpen the crease all right so now it should look like that okay you got something that's starting to look maybe a little bit like wings for this left side here we're going to take it and we're going to create this triangle shape 
and we want to make sure that we get that right into the center crease there and we're going to hold it and we're going to fold it over okay and then crease with our spoon or flatten it out with our spoon same thing with the right side and we really want to make sure that we're in line with that center crease the tip goes to the edge real nice and well it's not overlapping or it's not under all right, and then we're gonna crease with our spoon again. All right, now bring both wings into the center, and we're gonna to need to take our spoon and crease again. This is where the paper might start to get a little bit weird, because now we're folding multiple pieces of paper, or excuse me, we're folding over the paper on itself multiple times, and it might want to crease weird or buckle all right, so now we're taking the left tip again, this corner, and we're gonna fold a triangle shape again to that crease that we just created right here. So we wanna hold that and fold that down. Get our spoon again, flatten that crease, and then fold over again. We're gonna make another triangle shape on the left wing, bring that to that that fold again. Okay. Put the spoon back in the action, fold that over. Now we're gonna go to the right side and do the same exact thing that we just did on this left side. So if you open this up, you should have one fold, actually one fold, two folds, three folds. Okay, just like that. Now, Onto the right side, same thing. I'm gonna fold that over to the crease. Fold it over again. Remember a triangle shape. Okay, so now your sides should be evenly folded and matching. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off a little bit of paper. So we need to get our scissors. And from the outermost edge, you need to count one crease or one fold and then two folds right here is where we're going to cut. Okay. outermost edge, first crease, and then the second crease, and that's where we want to cut. Okay, now we're going to take those folds and we're going to tuck them up underneath our second big fold, okay? And we're gonna bring that into the center and fold it over, bring that into the center and fold it over. So you should have something that's starting to look like this, okay? So now you're gonna take the end of your spoon and you might need to tuck that paper up underneath real well so it's laying flatter. And then you can take your spoon and flatten out the folds, make them real nice and sharp. And then do the same thing to the left side. Okay, so now you should have what looks like that. You can hold it and this fold isn't going anywhere. It's tucked in real well. Okay, so now we're about to bring it all together. And you want to fold along the original um, longest fold here. And then you're going to take this part and you're going to fold it over this way or towards yourself. And make a nice sharp triangle shape lining up the outer edge with the spine of the plane right here. 
you're gonna take this edge, and you're gonna line it up with the spine of the plane, and you're gonna fold it over to where they match real nicely and evenly. Take the spoon, flatten it out again. Make a nice sharp crease. And then flip over to the other side and then do the same thing again. Folding it to where you get the edge of the paper lined up very nicely and evenly on the spine of the plane. Pressing those together and then finishing the fold, sharpening it up with our spoon. Okay, so now we have almost basically got our paper airplane. And now we need to focus on the tail. And that is not as hard as the rest of it. So you need to line up the two points of this wing right here, the back end of the wing, with your thumb over the top of it and spacing these out with your finger with your thumb and your pointer finger. You need to press those together if you can until they're starting to make that shape. And we want to go all the way till it touches the top with the bottom. I need to shift it over and then I'm going to take my finger. I'm just going to fold that right there and fold that right there. That way that's giving me a nice little crease. Okay. I can release that and that's starting to give me that real nice shape right there. Okay. I want to follow that, that seam all the way to the tip. And this is where I'm going to have to start to push out the paper a little bit and sort of fudge the crease where I'm not actually folding it over, but I'm trying to follow the line or the crease that I made on the back end of the tail and follow it all the way through to the tip of the plane. So once I've kind of pushed the paper in and followed that seam, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over and then I'm going to press again. You should start to see that open up and then your entire spine of the plane should be fully formed like that. Okay, last thing, I'm going to fold it over again and sort of plump it up, straighten it out. And that's how you make your slider paper airplane. Thanks for joining.